This week, I want to show you how aphids are a great indicator of a problem in your trees or in your garden plants. Stay tuned. First, let's start by making clear. What are aphids? Well, here's some, you're right there. You see those little red guys in this case? I'd like to show them on trees, but I haven't seen any aphids on trees for years in our orchard. We do get them on this one plant. And I always like to be able to observe them and try to figure out why are they there? Because it's one thing to have an insect but it's really important to be able to figure out why do you have them. Let me give you a couple of stories to start. Aphids. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking. Here's the prime aphid predator. Let me show you that. Yeah, ladybugs are great hunters of aphids. I'd like to see their larvae, the antlion, that's, that's the predator, the number one predator. If you see the prey, you should be able to see the predator, so it makes sense to find a ladybug here. Back to aphids. So let me give you a couple of stories about aphids. While I was in New Zealand for the uh, Beyond Organic NZ tour, you could look up some of the details beyond organic nztour.com. That was a few years ago. And did a presentation. Lady came up to me at whose place we were staying that, that day, and she said, you know, you're you're talking about different things. She says, I got one fruit tree, a lemon tree, that's just infested with with aphids. Okay. I said, uh, well, aphids are a great indicator of an unbalanced fertilization, usually showing really an excess of nitrogen. So do you give, do you fertilize your trees? No, nope, not at all. Do you give them compost? Nope. Okay. Do you have others? She says, yeah, I have five lemon trees, but only one of them is infested. All right. I'm thinking through, there's something that makes that tree, that location, have too much, especially nitrogen. Oh, I'm trying to think, I'm going through the list. Artificial fertilizer, compost. No, was there something there? Sometimes it may have been an old farm and it was where the manure pile was. So going through, nope, 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 nope. Well, I said, there's something obviously wrong in that location. At that point, her husband who was beside her said, well, dear, he's right. Uh, he says, when, we, when I wake up, that's where I go to urinate, around that lemon tree. So I spread it all around. Okay, so I said, well, how often do you do that? Every morning, so at least 320 doses per year. I said, well, don't have to look any further. That's, that's the reason that one is infested with aphids. I said, it's showing signs of having way too much nitrogen fertilizer. By the way, a fruit tree only needs 20 urinations to get its dose of nitrogen for the year. So if you have a few fruit trees, spread the goodness around if you have that habit of urinating around, around your fruit trees. So that problem was solved. You think, they are indicators. They're not the problem. Please don't try to get rid of the aphids. They're there to solve the problem. How do they do it? I call them nature's pump. And if you look at aphids, what are they doing? They're boring down into the stem of the plant. Let me find some here again. They're boring in and they're sucking the sap out of the stem of that plant, basically to try to slow that plant down because it either has too much 
nitrogen, which pushes the, the growth excessively, or the fertilization is imbalanced. There's not a proper balance. Usually if you fertilize with just a nitrogen rich source, urine is one, chicken manure is another, uh, certainly the chemical fertilizers. I'll give you another example. The one year I saw aphids in our fruit trees was the first year we bought the orchard. It was still just a monoculture apple orchard. And the previous owner had a bag of nitrogen fertilizer, 20 It was left and I thought, ah, I mean, that stuff can explode in a dump. So I thought, you know what? I don't really want to put it in the, in the garbage so it goes in the dump. So I spread it in, in this orchard block, which was just apples at the time. And I spread one bag of uh, a 40 pound bag spread over one acre. So that's not a, it's not a very big dose, but I put it throughout the, this block. And that summer, so it was springtime, that summer we had aphids in our apple trees in this block. In the other orchard blocks, there were no aphids. And so that is a great indication of an imbalance because of one element in particular. So please don't blame the aphids. I'm looking for some around here. Don't blame the aphids for being the problem. They are not the problem. They're pointing to the problem. Sir Albert Howard had it right. He said insects, disease, and weeds are not a problem. They should be our professors and they are pointing to the problem. So take a look at them. Try to figure out why you have them and why. I'm, trying to think why these uh, perennial sunflowers, some of the plants have aphids. Not all of them, some of them do. And I'm thinking, one, they grew really well in the early years, got well established. They're still doing well, but they are a prairie plant. They're an open field plant. And right now, this is not open field. This is right in the orchard. They're getting way too much shade. And so they're stressed. And one of the things they're calling to is they're calling to aphids to get rid of them, basically. And I wish they would. Sorry, food break here. Came upon these yellow raspberries. Can't exactly let them go. You know, one thing about the permaculture orchard, there are some things that are dirty jobs, but somebody's got to do it. And my rule for picking and eating is you never just pick one you always pick a handful so you could get a mouthful mm. Mm -hmm. yep. very good so I want to show you where you would typically get aphids I came to look for an apple tree that we had pruned pretty hard here was a big pruning cut and as the hand principle within the distance of your hand you'll get really active growth so you see one two three big branches and here was another big cut so this is some active very fast growing shoots and they're the ones that are most likely to have aphids so if we take a look at them a little closer well there's no aphids there so why aren't there aphids where you would normally find aphids? Here's another really good shoot. You see that? That's at least a meter or three feet long. And you look around the stem at the base of the, the leaves. And again, there's no aphids. Well, like I say, aphids are not a problem. They are a symptom, a symptom of imbalanced fertilization. I don't mean to sound too disappointed. It's a great thing, but we just don't have aphids. One, because we haven't fertilized this orchard ever. The only bit of fertility it gets is when we spray whey, as we spray against the uh, fungal diseases, primarily scab. But because they don't get pushed on any kind of fertilizer, 
their fertility is balanced. And so if you have aphids, if they are a problem for you, checking out some other good growth, nothing. If you have a lot of aphids, try changing your fertilizer, try to get a more balanced fertilizer, and certainly try to reduce the nitrogen dose in your fertilizer, whatever you're using, it's probably too high a fertilizer of nitrogen. And so aphids are a great, great indicator of that problem. Excessive nitrogen fertilizer. Here's a really active growth on an Asian pear. So even to the end, all clean, there's nothing there. Sorry, can't show you any aphids on fruit trees. So remember, if you get aphids, check your fertility, stop fertilizing, or stop fertilizing as much. And just a point, if you're gonna fertilize and you're gonna give a certain dose, let's say you're giving 20 pounds nitrogen equivalent per acre, maybe break up that 20 pounds into three applications, a third in the spring, a third in the summer, and a third really late in the fall, after the leaves fall. That will help balance out and you won't get this spike of fertility that then is basically a call. Aphids, come get me! Do you want them there or not? If you don't, then change the way you do it. That's really all there is to it. Aphids are easy to get rid of. They're a great indicator. Something isn't right in the fertility. You may have soil that tells you, you know what? You don't need any fertility. You have so much natural fertility in your soil that don't fertilize. So aphids are a good, great, not even good. They're a great indicator. I think aphids are one of the easiest insects to indicate for you that you have an excess fertility problem. So that's, that's all I had to say this week. Thanks for the concern. Last week's video, I want to quit. If you didn't see it, take a look and certainly take a look at some of the comments. Thank you for your comments and your concerns. It was really appreciated. It was a reality dose. It's not all rosy and it's not all wonderful. There are times where you hit a wall and I just wanted to show you a, a look at what that wall looks like. So thanks for your comments and concerns. And as I said, things usually can go worse before they go better. So this week I came with my daughter to prune the tops of these really tall honey locusts and I, I fell off the ladder uh, 10 feet up in the air on my back and got a slight concussion and a few good bruises. But that's about it. I'm alive. Uh, it slowed me down. I didn't do anything more for the rest of the week. So, you know, things happen for a reason. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your comments. And I hope these videos help you. They even help me. I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video.